Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is something a little bit different. So I did a snapshot review way back when and did a review or just like a review because I could shoot this stick of the Bauer Sling. But unfortunately, the way the world works and the way YouTube works is that if you don't get videos out, basically the second stuff is important. Like right now, all the agent videos are coming out, which I don't have one and I won't be able to get one in time to do it. You don't really get any views and crap like that, unfortunately. And that stick that I had, I borrowed and it wasn't my own. So I ended up actually getting one of these sticks. So I bought this myself and I ended up using it and checking it out because I thought, well, I really want to see if this thing is actually decent. And this is a very late review because this has already been out for a long time. But hey, we also have a sink here too. So we can compare the Geo with this and the sink. So we have three kind of generations of ne Nexus sticks here. We can compare them all. This will be a lot quicker though. So we won't go through everything just to see if this actually was any good. But before we do any of that, if you want to help support the channel and you live in the United States and you're buying hockey equipment, check out the links in the description to Pure Hockey. If you're in Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. Clicking those links and making a purchase gives me a kickback so I can make more videos and doing real reviews. Bauer doesn't send me sticks like all those other influencers, so I can't actually do reviews on their stuff and I have to buy it and that's a lot of money. So it'd be greatly appreciated to help the channel. Otherwise, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through any of those links always comes back into the channel so I can keep making more content and doing more videos. We won't go through the whole graphics and stuff because we already talked about that so what we are going to talk about is just the the basics of this so the weight of this yes it was lighter than the geo but the balance of it was so terrible like it was the one of the worst balance sticks i have felt ever the closest thing is a trigger 5 pro but i honestly feel like this is worse the blade feels like there's nothing there which is weird because i know that there's a hole oh the hole takes away weight but really you have to reinforce the things around the hole so it might not really take away that much weight but the balance of it just seems so high up the shaft that most of the weight is up here so when i'm doing this video kind of overlaying right now i'm doing a one-handed like puck grab test and one thing i find really a good way to test balance and to see how well a stick is is when I'm playing defense, if I can poke puck pucks away from people, if I can be strong enough with my hand to kind of pull pucks away from people and to kind of fight off people with one hand on my stick, the sink was terrible for that. It was so hard to even keep the blade on the ice because all the weight felt like it was at the top of the shaft. So every time I tried to do anything, it always felt like the, the blade was bobbing kind of up and down. It would never actually stay like it wasn't weighted well at all. So that really sucked. And it kind of did feel like one of those sticks where you'd cut off the blade and like you're only using a shaft. That's basically what it felt like. So that is really disappointing. Now, people can get used to that balance and a balance is a personal preference thing, but that's how I feel with it. And all other sticks don't feel like that Bauer sticks. They all feel much better balanced. We're gonna go on a limb and say that this balance was not great. And that's why Bauer kind of went away from it and doesn't use it in the Geo or the Sync. Both of these sticks I have here, the, the Geo and the Sync, both are better balanced than what the Sling was. The Geo is a solid stick. The Sync is just slightly lighter than the Geo. And I think on, honestly, the Geo's weight, I kind of enjoy it a little bit more. This one's a little bit lighter, but it's still great. It feels great. It's just a personal preference thing. And that's getting into the almost too light territory, but still solid. The Sling is awful. So next we have puck feel. The whole point of the Nexus line and why Bauer sticks are still pretty successful, whether people like to admit it or not, is they have excellent, excellent puck feel. And that all comes to the blade. And Bauer still has very dampened sticks. Well, in the Nexus, there was Supreme and Nexus. Supreme's gone, so just Nexus where the pinginess is pretty minimal and one of the most minimal on the market. I do find the sink to be slightly less pingy than the Geo, so it's even like softer hand touch. It feels awesome for passing, awesome shooting and whatever, but it, puck handling is great, passing is great. That's what these things really, really excel at and why I really like it. The sling is basically taking everything that's good from the Nexus Geo and just throwing it out the window. Blade feel on this is so dead and awful. It honestly feels like it's either a dead stick, like the blade is just dead to begin with, or it's one of those like $100 budget knockoff sticks where from like AliExpress and it's like, oh yeah, it's top end stick and the weight is like low and the blade just feels like total trash. This is what this feels like, just hot garbage. I'm not saying this to be a contrarian. Nexus sticks are known for blade feel and puck feel. They always have been, that's why people like them. This was awful, just terrible. I'm guessing whatever reinforcement they had to do to get this hole in there just screwed up the whole like dampening and whatever is in there and it just felt terrible. And I'm all for blade feel, this was really bad. Which leads me to the next part of passing. And well, this kind of leads into the sling part of it. I honestly think the sling works a little bit. The whole point of this sling in this hole is that the blade opens up when it shoots and it's, well, I should go, I guess. 
opens up when it shoots and slings back to have a quicker release or whatever on and a harder shot. When I noticed it, when actually bringing it on ice was passing. And that's when you don't want to notice it. When I received a hard pass, I swear I could feel this blade flexing under me. And not like under well, that way, but just like flexing like that. I like if someone fired a rocket at me and hit that. I swear I felt that blade move. And then when I made a hard pass, it really felt like the thing was kind of slinging out. But you don't want that in a pass. You want that in the shot. And this is also, again, an 87. Like I get on all my Bauer sticks, the flex feels the same as all the other sticks as well. But when making those hard passes, it felt more like I was using like a 70 flex, but it wasn't like down here that was kicking. It just felt like it was on the blade that was kicking, which made my passing a lot less accurate, a lot less controllable, which is kind of accuracy. It was annoying. It was like slinging the passes and that's not what you want. Now, the other thing about this is the shooting and if the sling has an effect, I think it kind of does. The stick feels so different than when using the Geo and this, well, the sync just feels totally different, but when using the Geo that it definitely does feel like it kicks differently or at least shoots differently. The Geo wasn't a great shooting stick it was a lot better than the 2n was that ccms blew them away and all kind of new sticks blow it away this it wasn't better it just felt a little different the big difference i think honestly is the dampening on there just felt way different that was a big part of it i really didn't feel like these shots are more consistent or any of that if anything i said they'd be less consistent on this i always felt like i was struggling to have a consistent type of shot when i use this stick compared to the geo and every other basic stick there is but it did feel like it came off a little bit hotter than what was on the geo but not enough to make a difference and you sacrifice so much feel and everything else by doing that it's not worth it i tried to get footage with my gopro and doing slow motion on what the blade like deformation looks like on the sling versus a geo because while i feel it i want it to be able to show with like actual physical proof and i also tried using the camera from the front and from the side to be able to see if i can see any differences and you can't the best look was really at the top which i'm showing here but unfortunately the results are just simply inconclusive while the sling definitely does look like it flattens out and almost at points especially for the slap shot it looks like it bends around the puck you can't actually tell if it slings back and you can't like really tell a huge difference from the geo because you can see the geo doing that as well so while again i wanted to be able to show this and kind of be like here is the sling doing what it is supposed to do and kind of showing the phys or visible proof from what I can feel in my hands. You can't, unfortunately. I just can't see it. I don't have a fast enough camera. I looked into getting a faster camera and they're way too much money and it's not going to happen. So unfortunately, inconclusive results. The other reason why I have the sink here is you take a look at the sink and you say, well, why, what came out of the sling to go on the sink? And honestly, I'm saying weight numbers and that might be it. They're like, this thing shoots better than the sling does. It just shoots harder. It shoots better than the Geo does too. And it's still not on CCM's level. We'll do a full review of this. So this isn't the review for the sling, but we're just kind of talking about it. It, this is just better. And they, it shoots better and everything, but still has excellent dampening, excellent blade feel, excellent puck feel where the sling is just, it feels, it's not good. And I'm, it's one of the reasons why I really want to try to get that agent stick. Cause I want to see if Bauer actually did something good there. Cause this one wasn't good. I'm totally for them trying things and going out there with your ADB sticks. But this thing just, this one was a, definitely a sling and a miss. This was not it. And this was a miss and it's super disappointing. It's also why I really tamper my expectations for when Bauer does like the agent sticks and stuff, because this was so not good that these, it's just, ugh. and this is one of the reasons why I hate doing reviews where I can't get sticks on the ice. And that's a big difference. And unfortunately I have to physically buy these sticks to get them on the ice. And I can't always do that. So I have to borrow stuff to talk about it. And shooting isn't the whole picture of a stick. And where this one definitely, I feel like shoots a little bit better. The whole package is just awful compared to what the geo and the sync was. So pretty disappointing. Thank you very much for watching this video. I don't think it will be that helpful for people since the sling has been done. And it's like, you might have some stock left over, but it's, it was a limitation. It's kind of gone, but I want to talk about it because everyone has the agent. I don't have an agent. Bauer won't send me an agent because I'm not big enough and no one cares, but I just want to talk about this because that's my experience with the sling. And I thought it was kind of, it should be out there. Thank you very much. Hopefully it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, comment on this video. If you have experience with the sling and tell me how wrong I am, it's fine. I'm okay with it. Let me know if you want to review any sticks or if you want me to review a specific stick, let the company know on social media left and tell them you want to see hockey reviews review their product. That would be greatly helpful. Helped with the true skates. It might help with other stuff like that as well. Remember, if you want to support the channel and you live in the United States and you're buying hockey equipment, check out the links in the description to Pure Hockey. If you're in Canada, hockey supremacy. 
Clicking those links, making a purchase, gives me a kickback and helps support the channel. Otherwise, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there always comes back in the channel so I can keep buying more gear and doing real reviews and not just being a marketing person. Because I get companies angry when I talk bad about products that I don't think are good. So that's not a good thing for channel growth. So I got to buy everything. So it'd be greatly appreciated. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.